Welcome Chanel lovers. Today I am so excited to share with you my entire Chanel handbag and small leather good collection. Now, for those of you that have been following along on my channel, you know that I only recently started buying Chanel. I bought my first Chanel, I mean anything, but it was a handbag uh, last summer, like June, July of 2020. And since then, I've been kind of obsessed. Most of the bags that I've bought in the past year and a half have been Chanel bags. Also because like, y'all know, like I've been panic buying because of all like the Chanel price increases. I wanted to stock up on the bags that I, you know, know I was gonna want for the rest of my life now. So I figured, I think I am done buying Chanel stuff for now. So I figured it would be a good time to show you my collection. You know, I absolutely love seeing other people's handbag collections, so I thought you all would want to see it too. I know that a lot of you have requested to see my entire handbag collection. Uh, I haven't filmed it yet because, I mean, it's like a big video to do. So I was wondering if you all could do me a solid and give me some feedback on this video to see, like, let me know if there's any other information that you want to see, like product shots that you want to see. So that way when I do the entire handbag collection, like, it will be a better video. This one is like kind of like my guinea pig, if you will. So I'm super excited to share my collection with you. And I know that some of you are gonna think this is a really big collection. And some of you are gonna think this is a really small collection. You know, everyone's got a different situation, but I can tell you, I am absolutely in love with these bags. I mean, Chanel was always one of my favorite brands growing up. I went to fashion school. I got my bachelor's in fashion and textile management in design. So I've just been obsessed with Chanel, the brand and the history forever. And you know, I wasn't really able to buy those bags cause like, let's be honest, Chanel ain't cheap. So I wasn't really able to buy them for a long time. But once I got into my thirties, you know, I finally felt like, okay, you know, this makes sense given my finances. So I'm just really excited to share my bags at SLGs with you. Also, I decided not to film my entire Chanel collection, like with shoes and jewelry and ready to wear. But if you are interested in seeing that, definitely let me know and I can film like that whole shebang for you. Now I'm super excited to hear what y'all think about this collection. I can go ahead and tell you all, cause I know some of you are probably gonna say, my bag collection does not have much diversity. I recognize that I need to buy probably some other styles of Chanel bags, but I'm also like a firm believer in like buy what you love. So I really have bought what I love, but if you are interested in seeing like my total luxury handbag wish list, I will link that for you. So you can take a look at that too, to see what other bags I'm thinking about from Chanel. And I also always like keep an eye on their seasonal styles to see like if there's anything that like piques my interest, but for now, these are the bags that I have. So let's get started with my very first bag that I bought, I believe it was in June or July of last year. And being totally honest, I was not even looking for a bag that day, let alone a Chanel bag, but I saw it in a local consignment store here in San Francisco called Chris Consignment. It's C-R-I-S, I'll link it for you below. Um, they are just like a store full of lovely human beings. People that work there are so nice. I really enjoy going in there and they have like amazing brands, but I was about to leave the store because I didn't find anything that I liked. And then I saw a case of Chanel things and I saw this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag that I'm obsessed with. It is this absolutely gorgeous forest green suede CC camera bag. Now this bag is super special. I mean, A, cause like it was my first Chanel bag, but <laughs> it's also special because this is actually a one series bag. So that means that it was made from 1989 to 1991. I'm not sure exactly, you know, like what year it came out, but within that three year time range. So this bag is almost as old as I am, which I think is really cool. And being from that time frame, you know that all of the gold hardware here is 24 karat gold plated. So, I mean, it's like super fabulous. And I love this bag, especially because the strap drop length is perfect for me. Y'all know that I'm kind of short. I'm five foot three with virtually no torso. And a lot of Chanel bags, especially the smaller ones have like really, really long chains. And this one doesn't. I'll put the measurement for you below, but this drop length fits my body absolutely perfectly. I also love the detailing on this bag, you know, like Chanel really knew how to do it back then. Like, look at this gorgeous little tassel with like the little CC on it. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. 
So I love this bag. I, it's very simple on the inside, like not too much going on because that's typically how camera bags are. Take my stuffing out. You can see the inside here. The one thing I will say about this bag that stops me from wearing it more is because it's squayed, suede, I am really scared to mess this bag up. Like, I don't have a lot of suede shoes or bags in general just because like I'm rough on the merchandise. Like I really like put my bags through it. So I really only break this out on like special occasions and I make sure that I'm wearing like a darker pant. So if there's any color transfer, it's okay. But overall, I love this bag. I'm really happy that this was my first Chanel bag. I think it's really, really special. And I'm just, I'm obsessed with the color. Like I think it looks really rich, you know? As, uh, as Lisa Rinna would say, like she looks rich, honey. So I love this. Now on to my next bag that I bought, I believe in October or November of last year of 2020. I purchased this from the Chanel at Neiman Marcus here in San Francisco. And it is my boy wallet on a chain. It's in this like beautiful Kelly green color. I've got a review that I will link for you. And it has silver hardware. And I absolutely love this bag. You know, I went in originally looking for like a mini classic flat, but those are literally impossible to get in San Francisco unless you are a VIP. Like one of the essays told me you have to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to get one. It's probably a bit of an exaggeration, but like regardless, I am not gonna be getting a mini classic flat bag from Chanel anytime soon. But I saw this and I was like, hey, it kind of fits like the same little niche. And I really like this bag. I know that the boy bag is like kind of going out of style because it's super like bulky and a bit more structured and like more kind of like rugged in a way. But I think that this is like a really nice mix between like a typical boy bag and a classic flap. I like that it's like quilted and puffy here. The leather is super durable. There's not a single scratch on it, which I think is amazing for not just this bag, but a couple of the bags that I'll show you. Because this has a really long drop length, I do use a chain shortener here. And I like found the most perfect, easy to use chain shorteners. You don't need to use a screwdriver. Um, I found them, I will link them for you below. You can get a pack of five for somewhere around like $10 and you can get them in different colors. So I'll link them for you. So if you're shorty like me and you need chain shorteners, definitely order them below. Um, but I really like that this bag has a lot of compartments on the inside. So you can do like a whole lot of organization. I mean, granted, I don't really put that much in here, but it's got a bunch of card slots, you know, which is really nice. And I always like when a bag has like zippered compartments like this one does, because like a lot of bags that don't have that, even mini bags, like they'll have a, a little compartment, but there's no zipper. I'm like, where am I supposed to put my tampons? Like, oh, come on, please. So, um, I'm very glad that it has that, but yeah, I love this bag. I love the silver hardware. I like that it's a fun, like bright pop of color. I wear a lot of black and gray. So like, this is a nice pop, you know, that I can wear that doesn't feel like too bold, if you will, but really good bag. Uh, the only thing I wish about it were that the chain drop would be a little bit shorter, obviously, because um, it's pretty long unless I like cross the straps over or use the chain shortener. So that's the one downfall, but again, it probably makes sense that the chain is longer for you normal sized people, you know, that it should be a little bit longer. Also, I talk about this in my review video, but like this little zipper tail sticks out and it's like super annoying. Uh, one thing I will tell you with this bag, I think it's really important when I store it in my closet, I do store it with the little piece of felt that it comes with just so that way, like the hardware and all that, like doesn't mark up the leather. So I would definitely recommend using the felt that comes with it, but your adults, it's your choice on how you decide to store your bags. So this was my second Chanel bag. Now, my third Chanel bag is arguably one of my favorite ones. This is, you know, my first classic flap and I purchased this also from the Chanel Neiman Marcus here in San Francisco. Um, this bag is a 21P collection and seriously, I am just obsessed. With this color blue i just went in you know asking to see what colors they had that day because they usually don't have any so i was just not expecting to be able to get one and when they had this one i just i fell in love right away and i think that the small size looks really good on my body i think it's probably the perfect combination of strap length and bag size 
So I am really happy that I was able to get this bag. I'm also stoked that it is in caviar leather, again, because it's super durable and it's like really hard to find. And if you wanna buy caviar leather Chanel bags on the resale market, they are seriously so expensive. Like they sell at such a premium, which I am not here for that. Y'all know that I like to uh, get things on sale and it's very hard to get a caviar classic flap on sale. Um, but I love the small size because I think that this bag looks really good if you want to double up the chain or if you want to wear it like as a, oops, as a single chain. Let me open it so I don't spill it. Or if you want to wear it just like as a single chain. And luckily because I'm shorter and because I have a smaller chest, I can wear this bag both, you know, as a shoulder bag and a crossbody. I know for a lot of you that have a little bit, you know, of a bigger frame or just a bigger chest in general, it's not, it doesn't really look great when you crossbody. It kind of like sticks out underneath your boobs. So I guess I, that's the one benefit of having a small chest, right? It's like I can crossbody this bag, but I am obsessed with it. Uh, the leather is amazing quality. It has not scratched at all since I've gotten it. I will say I am really disappointed in myself because I didn't realize how easily the turn lock would scratch here. So sometimes when I like overstuff the bag, I would be like really trying to pull the flap over and I scratch the turn lock quite a fair bit. But I have learned with some of my other bags that that apparently is just something that I do because I'm rough on the merchandise. So very disappointed in myself for that, but I don't plan on selling this bag. So I really don't care. It's just less shiny, whatever. But love this bag, one of my favorite ones. I wear it all the time. This is like one of my neutral you know, Chanel bags and it works well with my wardrobe. because I wear, like I said, like a lot of like gray, white, black. So this complements it really nicely. Now, when I bought this bag, I was really hoping to be able to get a matching card holder. And my essay at Neiman Marcus said he was going to look for one for me. I don't think he did. He never followed up about it. And like, we did talk a few times after that. So I don't think that he looked to see if it was available because like a month or so later, I was actually at the standalone Chanel boutique in San Francisco. And I walked in and I was like, hey, just curious, do y'all have any like card holders to match this bag? And lo and behold, I was able to get this classic card holder in the same color, same 21P collection um, with a little zip at the top. Now I was originally looking for one without a zip um, just because it makes it a little bit thinner of a card holder, a little bit shorter. But you know, I am actually really glad that I do have one with a zip in case there's ever an occasion where I need coins. Like it's always helpful, you know, to have it. And I really love, again, just like the color of this. It's also in the same caviar leather. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but both the wallet and the bag have the very, very light gold, like champagne gold hardware. So it kind of looks silver. It kind of looks a little gold. I think it reads more silver than gold, honestly, to me. I really like it because it is more versatile, you know, in theory. And I think that this is a great wallet because it's got the one card slot in the front, it's got three in the back, and then again, it's got the little zipper compartment here so you can add anything else you need to. So I'm really happy that I was able to get this like really cute matching set. I don't know, it makes me really happy. I mean, I don't always wear them together, but I think it's cute like when you can have a little matching set. So yeah, really happy with these. Now the next bag we are going to talk about has a super, super crazy story behind it. I'm going to link the video for you where I talk about it in the unboxing. But basically before the big price increase this summer that went into effect, I believe in July in the United States, I went panic shopping. I was on the hunt to get some classic flaps before the price increase went into effect. And I was really lucky because I fell in love with this beautiful red lambskin medium classic flap at the Neiman Marcus Chanel, again, here in San Francisco. But when I looked at the bottom of it, there were a bunch of stains on it. And I was like, oh, and then I realized that the bag was actually a 19S bag. So I wasn't sure if it had been returned or if it had been sitting there for a while because it was stained. But I ended up not buying the bag. And I went home that day really defeated because I had gone to three different Chanel locations to try and find any type of bag, you know, before the price increase, but everyone was fresh out. And I started looking online and I found no joke, the exact same bag that I had tried on in the store online at the Real Real. And it was for such a good price. If I can remember off the top of my head, I want to say it was around like $5,500 and the price increase was going into effect. So this bag was gonna be like seven, $8,000. So I ended up getting it and I am so happy I did. 
I think the reason that it was so cheap is because again, it had like a couple stains on the bottom, but I cannot say enough good things. Oh wait, hang on, let me grab it. About this leather cleaner. It is literally a miracle worker. My essay at Chanel told me about it and seriously, like I live by it. This is not just good for conditioning and protecting your bags, but it's also amazing at removing stains without removing the color of your bags. So I actually just took a little bit of this, rubbed it on the bottom and the stains came and the stains came right out. So if you take a look, there's not a single stain at the bottom of this bag anymore. And it is due to that leather lotion. So I will link it for you below. If you don't have it, get it. You need to use it on all your bags, not just your Chanel bags. But anyways, I am obsessed with this bag. I love that it has like true age gold hardware. Cause like I am Iranian and I do love gold. Let's be honest. And I love this bag because I just think it's like really fabulous. Like I love the color of it. It's not a true red. I know on camera it might read like a true red, but it's got like a hint of like salmon. So it's just a little bit lighter than like a true bright red. And I love this also because of the size. I think because I live in like a world of small bags because I like to be a little bit more minimalist. I don't like to hold too much stuff in my bags. I think I've gotten used to like cramming nothing into very small bags. This bag is so spacious. Oh my God, I love it. And the lambskin I think is pretty durable. I don't think it's scratched at all really since I've had it, unless I've missed it. I've conditioned it like once or twice just to keep it moist because I feel like lambskin can crack. So I do condition it, but I don't over condition it. You shouldn't do that. It's not good for your bags. And that can take off the color over time if you're conditioning it like, you know, once every few weeks or something like that. I've only done it like once or twice. So. I love this bag. And again, I can wear this both over the shoulder and crossbody. And I really like it with both the doubled up straps and the single straps. I think it looks really nice. I will say that this is definitely a bigger bag. And so on my frame, like this is as big as I would go. I don't think that I could really do like a jumbo or a maxi without it looking like a little bit silly on me. I think that this is as big as I can go right now, unless like, really oversized bags come back into fashion, then maybe I could do like a maxi. I don't think I could ever do a jumbo. So yeah, this is this bag. It's, I mean, it's super loud. It's super shouty. It's super bright, but again, I am Persian. So I freaking love it. That's great. Now this next bag is one that I have wanted forever. And it was actually kind of something hard to search for. Like a lot of us, I wanted a black classic flat bag, but I don't love that the interior is like that maroon burgundy color. I know it is the color of like Chanel's uniform when she was an orphan and like I live for a good story, but I just don't really love the color maroon. So I had heard that like in the early 2000s, they had come out with like a short run of all black Chanel bags. So even the interior was black, but it's like something hard to search for online. So I just figured like if it ever falls in my lap, it falls in my lap and it fell in my lap. So this is a small black Chanel classic flap. I'm sure you've noticed a theme right now. I'm obsessed with classic flaps in silver hardware and it's got caviar leather. So it's super durable and it does have the all black interior and you're not going to believe when this bag is from. It is from 2005 and I will tell you it was purchased because it came with all the original stuff. It was originally purchased from Bloomingdale's for like $14.75 or $14.95. I definitely paid way more than that, but I got this around the same time that I got the red one because I was like panic shopping before the price increase went into effect. And a lot of you all helped me actually make the decision of which bags to keep because I ordered a bunch and I wasn't sure which ones I should keep. And I'll link a video for you down below that talks about it. But everyone was basically like, this is a no brainer. You've got to keep it. And I'm, I'm just so happy that I was able to get this bag. So before I had this one, my blue bag was the one that I would wear the most. This one has taken over and I'm a little bit upset with myself, honestly, because I feel like it's like lazy to wear like the black classic flap every day, but it goes with everything. Like this bag is, I mean, it's not a chameleon. It's just, it's perfect. It goes with everything. It goes with my wardrobe. So I wear a ton and I really should branch out more, but I just freaking love it. Caviar is like, it's nice because I think a lot of times with black classic flaps, 
the caviar is like too textured. It looks almost like grainy or like sandpapery. I mean like no shade, but like sometimes it just looks a bit rough. And I really like this, this is like a smooth caviar, just like my blue one. Cause as we know, not all caviars are created equally at Chanel. And sometimes they're just kind of, certain seasons they just don't look as nice as other ones. But this one is just, it's beautiful. And I just feel really fortunate to have this bag. And it's like a nice classic neutral bag. It's really my only one that's like a true, true neutral. So this is a good one. And like I said, when I was talking about the blue one, the small size is perfect for me. It's funny, I laugh because when I got it, the hardware was literally in pristine condition. And just like with the blue one, I've been a little rough on the turn lock. So it's funny because I somehow managed to age it more in just a few months because I got this in like, you know, July timeframe. And I somehow managed to put more wear on the turn lock than the person who had it before me from 2005 until 2022. Um, also, just FYI, I purchased this one from Fashion File. So, love this bag. It's beautiful, right? Right, I mean, come on. And then I have my next bag for you, which this is another one that you all helped me decide I should totally keep. This is my pink square mini lambskin classic flap. Minis are not technically considered classic flaps because they are slightly different than the small, medium jumbo maxi sizes. Um, they only have one set of grommets at the top instead of two because they are a smaller bag. But for all intents and purposes, a lot of people just call this like a mini classic flap. I am not a huge pink fan. I do like certain shades of pink and I am obsessed with the shade of pink. In fact, when I ordered it, I got this one also during my panic buying. When I ordered this from Fashion File, I was not sure if it was going to be the shade of pink that I thought it was when I ordered it. And like, no joke y'all, it actually was even like slightly better than what I thought it was going to be. Cause like not everyone likes the same shades of pink. Some people like a baby pink, some people like a cooler pink, some people like a peachy pink. Um, I do like like really, really bright pinks and really, really pale pinks, nothing really in between. So I am so happy that I got this bag. This one has the silver hardware. I will say I do wear this bag less than all my other bags, except for the suede one, because I mean, pink, like it's a statement, right? And like color is hard for me sometimes. So this one, I would say out of all of them, I wear the least but I don't like it any less. I really, really enjoy it. And I really like this bag because for being as small as it is, it is super spacious. And also just like with the Wallet on Chain, I also use a chain shortener here on this bag. Even though honestly, the length of the strap on this one is fine without the chain shortener. I just do it, I don't know, I just like it a little bit closer to me, but. I think that this bag is super cute. And again, because of the versatile strap length, I can wear it either crossbody or as a shoulder bag. This one does have a slightly shorter drop length compared to some other square minis. I, I think like depending on the season, sometimes square minis can have a drop of like 22 inches. I think the drop on this one's only like 19, 20 inches. So this one works really well for me, but I really like that this bag like packs a punch. Like it's really like fun, flirty bag. I mean, it, you just can't help but like smile when you look at it. Like it's just beautiful. I like that it's still got like the little back pocket here, which is really cute. And yeah, I just think overall it's a really nice bag. It is lambskin, just like the red one. And honestly, like a lot of people talk a lot of smack about lambskin. The two lambskin bags that I have, honestly, have really not scratched at all. Granted, I've probably been like a little bit more careful with them. I've probably been a little bit more precious than I am my caviar bags. Actually, I know that is true. I like throw my caviar bags around. Not like throw them, but like if I'm in the car, I'll just like toss it on the seat. Whereas this one, I would definitely like place it on the seat next to me, you know? But overall, like, I definitely will be buying more lambskin bags and I really like that they show color well. I think that like this shade of pink on a caviar might look a little bit more muted. So I think that this is a beautiful bag and just like the other ones, I use the leather conditioner on it. So it's like well protected. So definitely recommend that. And then this brings us to my very last Chanel. Oops. My very last Chanel item, and that is 
my navy card holder in caviar leather and I think it's champagne hardware honestly like it might be silver I can't tell it's also a little dirty I need to like wipe it down because I am currently using this card holder but I got this from the Neiman Marcus Chanel here in San Francisco with my best friend and it was fun when I went with her she got her first like black classic flap with gold hardware. I think it was her first Chanel bag in general. So it was a really special shopping trip. This will always like makes me think of her, but also I have just wanted like a neutral color classic card holder without the zip on top. And if you all take a look at my handbag wishlist video, you know that a navy caviar Chanel bag is on there. So I'm hoping that one day this card holder becomes part of a set, but right now, I mean, I'm fine with it not being part, like. Things don't need to match in any stretch of the imagination, but it's cool sometimes like if they can. Like I'm honestly the same thing like when I buy like 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 bras and underwear, like if I can buy a set, that's cool. I don't always wear them together, but it's just nice to be able to like have the set in case you ever want it. So this one has just one less card slot compared to the one with a zipper on it. I've been thinking about doing a comparison of the two just so that way you guys can see them like side by side. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely let me know in the comments but this is a great one. I do think for me, for card holders, I have to always stick with caviar because card holders like really get put through the ringer. I mean, I'm like a lambskin one, I think would look like absolutely terrible after like just a few months. So I think with card holders, I'm always gonna stick with caviar, but very, very happy to have this one. And that is the last item that I have to share with you all. Now, there are a lot of other Chanel bags and SLGs that I want, so I am hoping to grow my collection in the future. But honestly, for now, I am so happy with the bags that I have. And I know that like they might not all be your taste, but they work really well for me. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this collection video. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Just hit that little thumbs up down in the corner. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that way you can get all my videos about all things shopping delivered straight to you. My name is Lily. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.